Hello, welcome to Naperville Public Library's STEAM at Home pro program. My name is Ms. Amanda and I want to share another exciting experiment, this time with a plastic egg. Um, kids, please remember to get your parents' permission and help with any of the experiments or activities that we show in these videos. This is our friend the Weeble Wobble. Uh, we wanted to show you if you happen to have plastic eggs at home, like this, oops, like this, how to turn them from this into a Weeble Wobble like that. So to make your Weeble Wobble, you need just a few simple things. Um, you need Play-Doh and a plastic egg. So we're going to take Play-Doh. We will include a recipe for making your own Play-Doh. If you don't have Play-Doh already in your house, you can make some with a few simple ingredients. And we'll include that recipe at the end. But um, we will take the Play-Doh. And the science behind this is that you're changing the center of gravity of your plastic egg. So you want the bottom half of your plastic egg to be heavy so that when you try to tip it over, the center of gravity will pull it back up. There's a link to the science of this also at the end of this video, but here's how you do it. The great thing about Play-Doh for this activity is that it sticks, so you can just stick it in. Um, you can test different amounts to see how much you think you need to fill it up. So we'll put our egg together and see if this was enough to weeble wobble or if we need to add. It's looking a little weeble wobbly. It's definitely standing up for us. So here we have uh, an egg we've decorated to look like one of our favorite Pokemon, Charmander. And then we're going to open it And we have some Play-Doh to put inside. Okay, so we press our Play-Doh in, close our Charmander, and now let's see, he stands up, and if we tap him gently, he weebles and he wobbles, but he comes back up to standing. Here's a line of Weeble Wobbles that we decorated. So you can just color on them with markers or you can decorate them like characters. There's Pikachu, or this Jigglypuff. one is Jigglypuff, and then we have a decorated one with markers, a Charmander, and on the end is a unicorn. One thing we discovered is if you are adding things, we added glue and glued hair onto the top of this one. If you add things to the top, you change the center of gravity and they're more likely to fall over. So because of that, we're gonna show you the inside and an idea we can you can do if you use decorations and make your egg heavier on the top. So go ahead, can you open? So to make our egg heavier, what we did, can you bring it a little closer? We put some pennies, there's a stack of five pennies in there and we taped it in so that, can't focus quite that close, so that, um, and then we put a piece of tape over it, so now it's heavier and it will still weeble wobble. Can you show how our unicorn weeble wobbles even though it's a little bit heavier? Yeah. So you can play with different things. You can tape coins or other things into the bottom of your Weeble Wobbles to make them heavier, which will make them come back up to standing even faster than with just Play-Doh. So that's another idea for extending the experiment. All right, thanks guys. 